Hello guys and good morning, another beautiful day here in Bucharest and another stunning vlog on my channel. Today we're gonna meet again like Tate Andrew, as far as you know we shot with him a couple of weeks ago in Mamaya. He brought last time his stunning 720S McLaren. Today he's gonna bring one car that is even more British than the last one. I think it's even more British than him. Uh, it will be a surprise. It's a very rare car because it's a limited edition. And that's why we're gonna show you the car and maybe have a, another chat with Tate. Get maybe a little bit more personal with him. Ask him how he maybe makes his money because as far as you know, he owns like 10 supercars. And if you remember a few weeks ago when we shot with him, he had like six. That means he gained another three or four supercars in a couple of weeks. That's impressive. We're gonna ask him how he's doing that, how he's able to do and manage a life that is so exclusive and so interesting here in Romania and how is he able to make so much money. I'm pretty sure you guys want to know it as well. And uh, today we're gonna try to figure out what this guy is doing and maybe he's gonna tell us and we're gonna learn a little bit something from him and maybe we can get a piece of his success ourselves. Let's have a look. We are waiting for him, he should be here in a few minutes. Meanwhile, we're gonna start up the car. It seems that he arrived, I just heard a very nasty V8 sound. And yeah, he actually did, he's indeed here. And I just picked him up right now from the entrance of my apartment. And Jesus Christ, that thing looks mad. Hey bro. Flexing on the broke voice again? Well, you know how it is. I try not to, but uh, <laughs> they give someone, you a, they, they give a hard it. time, right? Not to do it. Well, exactly. If I don't do it, they start getting happy, so I flex on. What's up, G? I'm good, man. I'm good. You? Yeah, also. What I'm are you good. driving today? What do you want me to drive? Yeah, mate. Why? Because I want to see it. I want to <laughs> see it. <laughs> you know why I will not drive the M8 today? Why? Because I have the break-in period, ah, okay, and right. I can't, I can't really floor it like yeah, drive yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I understand. And that's why I thought I would bring something like similar to your car. Hello. <laughs> I bring something similar to your car since you know Aston Martin is very related to AMG. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. So you, now you know what I will bring with. Okay. Well, and, and we're gonna make a lot of noise. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna make a lot of noise. Yeah. I look forward to it. Cool. So the plan for today, we go to Casa Flesia. Okay. We have their coffee. Yeah. And I talk about the cars. Yeah. And I want to talk about you a little bit more. Cool. Because people got so interested from the last vlog, what yeah. we did, that yeah. they uh, requested more or less Andrew. They said, Andrew, we're going to see him. I'll tell them. All right, we'll do it. They want Mr. Plenty. Okay, Mr. Plenty. It's coming. So that's what we're going to do. Always the same issue with these fuel heaters, man. Yeah, I they know. Always need gas. Six liter V12. Uh, everything I do is excessive. So yeah, it drinks. <laughs> but this this car is gorgeous. Thank what you. What have you changed? On? I changed a lot. I mean, yeah. I started with the suspension and the wheels. So it's lower, right? It's lower. It has the uh, KW V4 with HLS. That means I have the lifting system like the Lambo in the front, so I can access it in my garage yeah, or yeah, yeah. Uh, other obstacles that are coming to the way, like speed bumpers. Yeah. Well, the wheels, of course. Yeah. I wrapped it in this color because it was it was red before. Yeah. I tinted the tails and the headlights, exhaust. I think like 750 horses, something like this. What? Yeah, that's it. I think that's it for now. Should be enough. crazy. But I'm not done yet. There's something to come. I will not tell you. Okay. I mean, it's not just one very rare car that you don't see usually on the street. It is limited, right? It's limited. So there's only 175 of these in the world. So, yeah, this is a Vanquish S Ultimate Edition. So there's 175 and I think, yeah, duh. And I think, uh, I think all the others are probably in collections and museums and stuff. And I'm just driving mine around Bucharest, shit, hitting man. plot holes and smoking cigars. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that's life. That's I life. mean, this is your life motto, right? Like, absolutely. Living your life to the max. 
No what, time to waste. What, what what's waiting for? I exactly. Mean, what do you have a car for that has a lot of power that gives it such a uh, emotion? Yep. But you keep it in the garage. Exactly. Or, or or worrying about the miles. Or I just drive it. I do whatever I want. I, maybe I'll wreck it, but you know that's how it is. <laughs> Same thing with women. You know, you take them, do what you want. To. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What we're gonna do? We're gonna showcase you the car, like exterior, interior. We're gonna make a quick car porn once we got to the location and we talked with Tate about his uh, other cars how comes that this guy just bought I think three or four cars uh, since we met him the last time that's mind-blowing I mean yeah. come on how do you do that even man? for me is stupid I need to stop I nearly bought another one because I bought the new I bought the new 992 and it's really impressed me it's actually really impressed you me. like it amazing car Porsches are amazing everything about them is built perfectly you know they're yeah, they're, they're German, they're German Ger engineer, yeah man. exactly and they they look a little bit boring but then I, I sent it to tech art in Germany and they've done some work on it and it looks really really good and then uh, they've upgraded the power but then I got the email that the 992 turbos out so now I'm thinking to buy a turbo and do the same and have two matching Porsches a turbo and a. I don't know. he's simply nuts but you can ask yourself why he didn't take the Porsche no problem we have time so maybe if you want just let us know in the comments we're gonna take Andrew for another vlog for the third episode of our vlog with him and maybe we're gonna show the Porsche what do you guys think let me know I think you'll be surprised by how fast it is I thought oh three liter 500 horses is fast dude Porsche is a driver's car yeah, yeah. it's understatement yeah. you will probably not see too many modified cars on the market yeah but this car is for people who want to gun the car yeah, you know? yeah I mean you go on a track yeah you kill like everything yeah and you can abuse it like I, when I bought the Porsche, the guy I bought it from used to work for McLaren. And I said how I have a 720 and how it's always problems and all these things. And he said, with a McLaren, if you launch control over 20 times, it voids the warranty. Whereas with the Porsche, you have, can launch control 5,000 times, they don't give a shit, it's exactly. still warranty. That's yeah. what the Porsche made for, yeah. you know? That was a fun ride though. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> that thing is very, very fast. Yeah. It's very fast. But this combo is like very nice. It is nice. It looks like the male and the female. Sorry for that. <laughs> it's okay. But so, you know, for once in my life. But, you know, yeah. it's good. But I think the McLaren and the uh, GTR will be the drag race. Should we do that? We should do that. We yeah. Do that will be the one to see to see the daddy because that's a very, very fast car. <laughs> yeah. That's, fa that's faster than your Huracan, yeah? It's faster for sure. Yeah. But honestly, I still think that you're gonna blow me. Yeah. With the McLaren, yeah. I don't, I don't know, but I think so. We should try. We'll try. I have no idea. You the know, the McLaren beats everything when it works. <laughs> when it works. <laughs> Already, I have another no problem. Comment, dude. No I have comment. another problem with it. So when it's better, it has to go to Germany, get fixed. When it's back, then we, then we, then we can do it. Yeah. Uh, we should do it. Yeah. But where we're gonna do it? We don't do it on a normal road, because you know Titi Aur. No. This is a track. Okay. Circuit. Yeah. Close to Bucharest here. I know the owner. I just met him here like two days ago. Oh wow! I was standing here with um, the M8. Yeah. I was shooting the M8, and this guy told me like, you know that I own a track race, a, a track a circuit, yeah. and I told him like, hmm, okay, which one is it? Because there are like two. Yeah, yeah. And he told me like, is this one is really nice. We can go there like whenever we want. Amazing. And we can try this under secured conditions. Perfect. So that. Uh, Perfect. Everything is like. Perfect. Yeah. Let me get rid of my engine lights, and then and then <laughs> and then we do it. It's always like you have to wait for. Something Bro, to be fixed. McLaren is a way. headache. It's a headache. Yeah. Never, never make this your only supercar. But if you have a lot and you can go without it for a week here and there, then this. What then do you think fun. about the new 675? Uh, I think I was tempted to almost buy one, but then I don't know. Do I need it? A Dude, 720 you, you, told, you told me like four times today that you were tempted to buy one another supercar. I, bro, I need to calm down. <laughs> but I don't think I need this extra 45 horsepower. And I think that uh, the 720 is fast enough. And I think, this is, I think I have the only 720 in Romania as well. 
I think so. There's, so, I don't there's know. no one. So there's if no someone one. else gets a 720, maybe I'll buy the 765. <laughs> but until then, I'm happy. You know? Ever consider buying like a GTR? I really like them. They're really nice cars. I, I don't know why I never really considered one. Um, but I like your one a lot more than the stock ones. Your one looks mean. I thought the stock ones never really looked that mean. I mean, the Aston doesn't look mean, but the Aston's not supposed to be mean. It's like, you know, cruising. Yeah, blah, blah. It's, a, it's a different Mr. Story. Money yeah. through Monaco, blah, blah. But your one looks mean. I really like your one. So maybe I need to start to modifying cars. I'm, I'm thinking with my M5, I want to find someone I can hand it over to, hand them a bag of money, hand them the key, and then just, <laughs> and then just say, and then just say, show me in Especially the money. Month. The money part, I, I, I'm into that. <laughs> Show me in a month, give me a crazy <laughs> car. So maybe we should talk about this and do a vlog about it. I can do that. I can do that Done. for you. This is basically, you know, dude, this is the dream yeah. that I had like the other day. And yeah. I thought what I really wanted to do in my life is yeah. like finding guys like you yeah. who uh, like cars, yeah. like to modify their cars, yeah. but don't have ideas. Or yeah, maybe yeah, they don't yeah. know what it's best or yeah, yeah, don't know yeah. what to get, where to get the parts. Exactly. And that's why... Uh, you got me. Perfect. The master pimper. Perfect. The master pimp. So <laughs> I've got I've got an M5 competition we need to talk about because you need to make it. You yeah. Make it pop. Exactly, guys. Because in the first vlog we were talking about my M5. Um, he was like a little bit tempted to buy it, but uh, since he has like different ideas, what is fine. Uh, he bought another one. It's an M5 competition. Also black, right? It's, yes, it's black, black M5 competition. It's got a little bit of carbon trim. It's fast. I had a, a small tune done on it. So it's like 700 horse, but I think there's a lot more in there you can get. Yeah, you um, can you can go like 8, 850 yeah. maximum, 850 yeah. is possible. There's more horse in there, and uh, I, I went to England. I, I was curious about your M5, so I went to England and I, I rented an M5, and I was really impressed. I was never sure in my mind which was better, the S63 or the M5, but now I know. I think the M5 is better. I think it's better. It's a better car. You got four doors. You can get in and out the back easily. Da 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 da. So I then I. This is what I always do. I look on. That's I look, my G. I look on the website. I'm like, how much are these? Oh, da, da. Ah, fuck it. So I took my rented M5 and bought an M5 competition same day. So, best, best, best chance to get it tested, man. Yeah, that's right. So I've got one. I drove it all the way back here, and then um, it was a long road trip. We left London, stopped in Germany to get the Porsche, which was modified by uh, Tech I was car. following. I yeah, was following. Yeah, and then got back here. But the Porsche is now fucked, and I have to go back to Germany because I hit a fucking stone and took the bottom. Lip off. No way. Fucked it already. Screwed, screwed the lip. Two days. That's Romania. Two days. That's Romania. So I've already called Germany. It's like, it's coming back. So. <laughs> well, we're going to grab a coffee and maybe have a quick chat with uh, Tate about maybe his personal stuff. Because I know you're interested. And then we're going to get back to the cars and take them maybe for a ride. And yeah, I don't think it makes sense to do a drag race between those two because we know which one is going to win. You're going to win. Both cars are different in their own way, nice in their own way, but it's not worth it to compare it. That's why we're going to do something else. Yeah. This is not a race car. That's a race car. But yeah, if you just let me know a price you think to do the whole project and make it mean, sure. and then I can give you the car and the money, and, and I don't want to see it till it's done. And I don't want any input. Just make it mean. Yeah, I, I want to do this myself. Make so it mean. Fine, yeah. yeah, I don't want to, I, I don't know. I, don't I know, so, especially with M5, <laughs> yeah. I know what to choose. You yes. know, because your, your M5 looked very good. Thank you. So just something like this. We and can make it similar, yeah. A, a color on it, something good. Just I something. have many ideas, because there are some manufacturers of uh, wraps yeah that are not very popular in Europe yeah. and uh, in addition to that they also launched new colors yeah. I ordered already yeah, yeah. and you will not see them on any car perfect and uh, like you know you know my X5M my former yeah, X5 yeah, yeah, yeah. it had a some kind of satin black chrome yeah, 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 yeah. and nobody knows what it is because I never told anyone yeah, 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 yeah. bro let's do it let's do it you tell me let me know uh, yeah, a cost for the wheels and then does it need uh, maybe it needs lowering i don't know Do yeah yeah, yeah. Is lowered yeah, yeah. what i would do with the car i would start with the suspension i would go for the kw v3 yeah this is not the v4 it's not the most expensive but you yeah. don't need the v4 yeah, yeah. the v4 is more race oriented like yeah. track oriented yeah, yeah. and the v3 is street oriented it's more comfortable yeah, yeah but it's it's the best thing you have ever okay. ever ever so when you change the suspension does that you know like the, when you put it in sport plus sport how does that work does it still it doesn't work? work anymore it doesn't work but anymore. you don't need this okay once you have the v3 on your car installed 
world, believe me, yeah. my world, you don't need anything and you're going to love the car. You're okay. going to say thank you, dude, for yeah. this. For this. Cool. Because it's really nice. Cool. And it's not expensive, it's like 3000 Oh, wow. Okay. It's not the much. Yeah, yeah. I think you can, you can, if you put like something between 20, 10 and 15000 you make the car more than better. Done. 15000 yeah, maybe less. Okay. Maybe less. I, need to, I don't have the prices in mind. Cool. But Just let me know. But I'm, and I'm ready to start tomorrow. You yeah. let me know when and we can do it because... You know what I will do? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, cool. I will come home tonight. Yeah. I will make a list of everything that I need. I, yeah. will, I will check how much these things are. Yeah. I will also show you that you see that I don't like... I, I don't do these things. You know, I don't give a shit about yes, that. Yes, of course. I will show you everywhere where you get the links. Yeah. So you see yourself. These are the prices. Yeah. And these are the list prices. Usually I get less. Yes, yes. So yes. maybe, I don't know, we can get it cheaper. Yeah, okay. Perfect, let's do it, man. Yeah. Let's well, do it. The only thing that I want is that you get my wheels. 100%. For the rest, I don't care. 100%. You're in charge, so I'm in. The, the McLaren, to, I'm tempted to drive it to Germany. To Germany. You should at least bring it to the borders and drive from there. Yeah. Because first, it's dangerous. Yeah. You could die. Yeah. You could literally die. And the second thing, because it's of the lot. stones and everything, you destroy you the, the car. car. And you it's a lot of ramp. miles as well. Yeah. But I kind of feel like it's nice weather. Or I, I could drive forever, bro. I could drive doesn't bother me but then I'm thinking by the time I get it back you put another 5,000 kilometers or miles on the car as it needs another service it's fucked again and you have to send it back again so are you interested like for example in a road trip like four or five days somewhere to a very nice place I'm waiting for you bro like with the four of us with the film crew or something like that because what we planned what I planned for this year last few years I always did like a lot of events yeah I don't want to do these events anymore I just which events did you do did you do like rallies or did you do like uh both Okay. It, it's it's meetings like come togethers of yeah. like twenty thousand cars in a yeah. specific place. This is what I do this year. I, this is for you. Would be really nice. I can recommend this to you if yeah. you want a really nice experience with nice people, crazy location and amazing cars. Like really, you see like twenty thousand of quality cars, just yeah, yeah. the best of the yeah, best, yeah, yeah, the cream yeah. of everything that yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's modded on, on in Europe and not only like they come also from Japan. They ship the cars from wow. Japan. They ship, ship the cars from UK. Wow. It's in Austria from seven to ten of May. If you let me know when you're going? 7th, 10th of May. Okay, I'm coming. Let's go. You, are you, you're driving there or you're, you're shipping your car? I will ship my cars. Yeah. So if you want, we can ship them all together. Okay. He will ship his two. Okay. There's going to be like four cars already if you ship one or two of yours. Perfect. Okay, I'll talk to Tristan. We'll work something out and we'll get them But on. you have to, for this event, you have to decide early because there's so many people and accommodations are gone. Yes, yes. You have, he found something now, now, but it was one of the last rooms available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get shit rooms, very expensive. You yeah, yeah, if yeah. you wait, the longer yeah, yeah, you wait. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's four days. Oh, do you do rallies or not? I do rallies as well. I do. I will do the street gasm. You know street gasm? I've heard of it. I haven't done it. I've got, I've got Cannon Run trying to make me go, but they're shit. I've got uh, One Life Rally keep trying to make me go. One Life, have you heard of them? Yeah. Are they any good? I don't know. They, they go to places I'd be kind of interested to go. I'm more interested to go to like uh, Bosnia, Albania, these places. I think it'd be good to kind of see them and know my car doesn't get stolen for once. But then these rallies either turn out to be lots and lots of fun or completely shit. And also on rallies, you destroy your cars. Exactly. You fucking destroy exactly. it. Every time I do a rally, I want someone else's car. I say, how much does it cost to rent a car? They're like 10,000. Yeah. No problem. 10,000, I'm going to come back with crack yeah. windscreen, yeah. fuck yeah. brake pads, oil light, and I'll fucking destroy it. And then 100%. Your car, you just trouble for the next year. for Because yeah. everyone keeps saying to me, the One Life guy's like, bring your McLaren. We don't have a McLaren. I was like, my McLaren will die by the end. <laughs> fucking, it's going to die, you know? Always happens with McLarens. Yeah. We lost so many McLarens on, on, our, on, on our journeys yeah. throughout Europe. Yeah. All not. the time there was one guy with a McLaren had to abandon his car somewhere in the middle of nowhere, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so that's how they are. That's how they are. They're the most <laughs> temperamental car, bro. But, they're just, but you know what? They're just that fast. So it's like you kind of forgive it when it's working. When it's working, you're like, this is the best car. They're, just, they're that fast. But is it working? I don't know. Now, I yeah. never heard about one working properly for like more than 10,000. So, so, yeah, so my one's annoying because lights are always on, but the car is always fine. So if you, I, I have OCD. I cannot drive with the light on my dash. But if, if I could ignore the light, it would drive forever. Like it's not in limp mode. It's nothing. A light comes on and it's fine, and I can still drive like an idiot. But the light it annoys me. That's true. And it annoys me. And Tristan's like, you're gonna spend all this money and send it to Germany, and it'll take them two minutes to reset the computer for a light. I was like, yes. I don't like the light on my car. It bothers me. But I understand. Yeah. For me, I understand 100%. I was yeah. the same. Yeah. I, I don't want a light on my car. Yeah. Fuck. So I mean, I, why should you have one on, on your car when you spend so much money on a supercar that you exactly. expect it to be like perfect? Exactly. Right? Exactly. Exactly. So. I think when I get all my cars back, I'm done with, I'm gonna try, we'll mod the M5, 
and then I'm done with cars for about two years, and in two years, I'm gonna buy everything I'm gonna buy. A new Aston. <laughs> new Aston. I'll get the new Van. Have you seen the new Vanquish that's coming? No. It's crazy. crazy. I've already I've already put a deposit at the Aston Martin Works. I've already given them twenty thousand euros. And when it comes out, the first it. one in England, the number one, I'll show you. I think it's nice. All, all Aston are nice, but they lose their value so quick, man. For reselling it is a nightmare. Yeah. Reselling an Aston Martin is like you better don't buy. It. You lose a lot of money, and it takes forever to sell it. It's like 850 horses, and it's mid-engine. Oh no! Really? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an animal. Yeah, it's expensive. It was 240,000 pounds, so it's like 300,000 euros. 300,000. Yeah, but it's worth every cent when yeah. I see. I mean, I hope they're fast. Yeah. They're Is it a hybrid or? No, it's not hybrid. It's twin turbo, mid-engine. V8. V8. It's gonna be like the McLaren. Exactly the same as the McLaren. I know the McLaren's fast. It's gonna be a monster. So it's be a monster. I know. And it's going to sound amazing. What the next well. vlog is going to be about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I've got one of these coming, but this is two years away, you know. But I just said I know. So I'm going to keep this Aston until this one comes. I drove the the uh, Evo. It's okay. Do I need to buy an Evo from a uh, Huracan? It's fucking same. It felt the same almost. Yeah, it has some gimmicks. It has like rear wheel drive and. But how often do you notice this when you're driving? Like really, unless you're really on a track. Really, I mean, really I have hard. I have it on my GTR and I feel it. But honestly. If I have already a Hurricane, I, would, I wouldn't want to spend another like 200 and something thousand grand on right. a new one. Exactly. Because everyone just goes, oh, we had a Lambo, yeah. we have a Lambo, okay. I'd rather wait for the new one, for the new, new model coming out. Or yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like the Aventador either, you know, mm -hmm. same, same shit. Completely agree. I don't like Ferraris at all. Just the Pista is nice, but overpriced. 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 I, I nearly bought the 812 super fast. This sounded nice and it yeah. felt good and the electronic yeah. steering was nice. I liked the 812. But then there's so much money, man. That's like fucking 300,000 euro for this car. Yeah, this one is not my cup of tea. I don't like these line tours, but yeah. you know. I mean, the GTR is kind of the same, yeah, but yeah. it's different. Yeah, 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 Because it's so fast and yeah, so yeah, bloody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bloody beast, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, no. I don't know. I like more the, the Lamborghini style, like yeah. the Pista, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Hurricane. Well, I drove a 488. It wasn't a Pista, it was a GTB. I thought it was trash. You didn't like it? It was so shit. Yeah. It was shit compared to that. Yeah, but they, the gearbox wasn't as quick. Yeah, the, the steering's not as good. It was just shit. I was like, how can you compare these two cars, the Huracan and the 488? It's not even close. Look, when you're 50 or more, buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But till, till then, yeah, yeah, yeah. just do your thing with, you, with your toys. Because yeah, sure. that's not a proper car for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the Pista is overpriced, so yeah. makes no sense yeah. at all. And I'm scared to even... I mean, I can't test one. In England, they wouldn't let me test a Pista. But the guy was trying to sell me one. He goes, oh, you can buy it. I was like, listen, I drove a 48 GTB and it was shit. So if you want me to buy this, I'm going to at least drive it for 10 minutes. Yeah. So I drove your other 48 and it was crap. A friend of mine has, is dealing with cars. He's just one. He got the new one, the matte black one. Yeah. He's selling for 400, Texas included. Too much. It's way too, too much, much money. Way too much money. I, you know what impressed me actually? I drove the Taken. You know the the, yeah. uh, the yeah. electric Porsche. It sounds like a like a it, spaceship. Yeah, it's it? crazy, bro. It's fast as well. But I don't know if it's, I could buy into this electric car shit. I don't know too. Yeah. But no gears. We will no have noise. To. You know? we, will, we will have to. Eventually, yeah, yeah, eventually. That's why I got this Aston. I was like, before they do anything stupid and put an electric engine, <laughs> give me this. These engines will die yeah. soon, a yeah, yeah. few years. And, and then it's all electric. That's why I really think carefully about keeping the Hurricane because it's going to be like one of the last V10s ever built. Yes, it's true. And they're going to, I don't know if they're going to go up in price so much because they're like the Performante and the yeah, Evo, yeah. but they're still expensive on the net. If, if, yeah. you, if you take a look at used Hurricanes, yeah. like I saw once, like I have 50,000 kilometers like 140,000 euro I mean yeah. come on dude this is really a lot of money it's true it's true, man. It's true. but good, good cars yeah they're, they're, they're all around the, the Lambo is the best car okay. all around is the best I mean it's, it sounds even stock it sounds good it looks good it's fast enough it grips amazing it's four-wheel drive you, you come on off the line it killed the McLaren four-wheel drive it's off exactly. the line you know it's easy to drive like the, I thought the Lambo would be hard. It's so easy. Anyone can drive a Lambo. It's easy. Because of four-wheel drive, because you mentioned this right now, he killed my GTR with his GLS, yep. GLC. Yep. You know? Yep. I mean, it's the SUV. He yep. killed the uh, 800 horses. Yep. Car, so, same with the McLaren. If, I, if I'm racing off the line, I'm, if we're going 10 miles an hour, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. If we're going from zero, yeah. it's like, oh, I know I have to be so careful with the throttle because I'll just go in circles. Yeah. You know, so I, I have to try. Once we're already rolling, then you want to play games. Okay, I'll smoke you. From the line, it's hard. 
even the Porsche beats the McLaren off the line because you can't put your foot down. Yeah. You just. But as you say, the interesting would be like the same car, the GTR, compared with the, with the McLaren. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Same problems. Yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Then it's all about the driver, yeah. the, the gearbox, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever, you yeah. know? Yeah, that'd be good fun, that'd be good fun. Oh, on a circuit? Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be a lot of fun, yeah. Because they don't need to care about cars, they don't need to care about anything. Yep. I still work 10 hours a day. I don't look like I work. 10 hours a day, I'm still always working. I want to retire and do things. How old are you now? 33. Okay. Old man. What, what is the age you want to get, like, retired? 35, 36. And I want to do nothing. And then, then I can fill my life with activities. Because even now, if I look at a rally, to me, it's not the cost of the rally. They say, like, one life. Come on a rally, it's 10,000 euros for a week. That's fine. I will lose 50,000 euros because I'm not working. I will lose so much money the things I should have done. So it costs, so like costs 60,000 60, euros. Not like so it's like, now, is it worth it? You know, like, if I, right now, still the way I make money and the things I do, if I'm not at a computer or I don't, if I can't sit on my phone all the time, I lose money all the time. So it makes me angry. So... I want to get to a point where this doesn't bother me. I'm in the same position. I know exactly what you're you talking about. Yep. Yeah. You sit and you go, how much am I going to lose to do yeah. this? Not how much it costs. How much does this cost me in exactly. time and, and, and other things I could do? Many people do. don't get this. They don't understand this is the problem that you maybe like would earn a lot of money in this time. Yeah. Say, why? I don't want to steal your time, but if you can't do this, like, yeah, but 10 people ask me and if they're like exactly. one day per people, yep. per person, yep. I lose like 10 days. In yep. 10 days, I earn like, I don't know, exactly. a bunch of money. Exactly right. And this, and this is the thing that people don't consider. And, and this is, and it makes it hard to make decisions on like purely fun things. But people say to me, oh, why don't you want to go Bali or Maldives or if you have money, you can go Maldives. I say, I go sit two weeks on some fucking island, I come back, I lose yeah, how much exactly. money? Like, even if it's fun, is it worth that much money? Like, it's not worth the money I will lose. I have work to do. And then I go Maldives and I'm trying to get phone signal or I'm on my laptop anyway. Yeah. What the fuck's the point Same. of being? Dude, yeah. You know exactly yeah, what I mean. Exactly, and everyone's yeah. like, oh, you Same. can just relax. I'm like, no, I can't relax. I have to fucking work. And, uh, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a point of money where things just aren't worth the money. You know? So when, if I can retire, if I can get everything working where I can make enough without me doing anything, then I'll probably do more things, more The question is, can you uh, probably just... That's it. It's hard. You know, Can you trust anyone to do anything besides yourself? No. Yeah, <laughs> so but not, not only. like, Can you just exist without doing anything? No, but there's, there's things I'd like to do. Like I would, I'd like to, to climb a mountain in Bhutan and sit in a Taoist temple for th that kind of dumb shit, you know, like it'd be cool and where you could only speak one word per day and you have to sit there and like do a thousand push-ups a day and it'd be uh, something I'd love to do. But right now I'm sitting there thinking, I'm going to lose so much money. Why don't you check out the cars? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Let's check them out. Because I'm a super car professional, I have no idea how to open the hood on my car. Did you just try? I, I'm trying to find it. I, I don't know. We're going to fix that. It's somewhere. I'm sure it's somewhere. Down here, maybe? Is this it? It should be actually. There, ah, there, there. You got it? Got it. The left side? Okay. Left yeah, side. it's the same side like for us. Yeah. But the steering is different. Who knows? People always say to me, oh, you bought this car. What about this, this, this? I was like, look, I bought it because it's pretty. I don't fucking know. I get a girlfriend because she's pretty. Well, what's her birthday? Don't know. Don't care. <laughs> you better know my birthday. <laughs> when, is, when is it? September, right? September, yeah. Date? <laughs> 25th. I've only had eight chances to learn it. <laughs> Two years. 25th. <laughs> it's dirty. It needs I hope you know more about the engine of this car. It, I know it needs cleaning. It's dirty. But, uh, Sham Manzor, the final inspection. I should get it cleaned, isn't there? This is so dirty, man. I know. There's a company that clean them, though, no? or something. There is. Yeah, some company who does detailing, basically. You know, I think I think I annoy people who really love cars because they go, "This would be my dream car," and I get them and I drive them like shit and I don't clean them and I don't know how it works and what's in it and I'm just like, "Oh, you shouldn't give a fuck." I don't give a fuck. So you know, I mean, it's big, six liter V12. I think it's got around 600 horsepower, but the car is very heavy. It's a very heavy car. Yeah. You can feel it when you when you drive it. It's heavy. But it's beautiful, as you told me. It is beautiful. You know? James it's, Bond drives. It's carbon this. fiber, right here. It's carbon fiber. The hood is it's carbon fiber. Yep. What about the fenders? I don't know. The splitter is carbon. I don't know how much the rest of it is carbon. I don't know. It's but a beautiful car. It does sound. It sounds beautiful. It sounds, I heard it. it I heard it before in a car. Yeah. It sounds really. Stock. This is stock. Stock. Yeah. Wow. Stock, yeah. yeah, that's that's the thing about about Aston Martin because they sound stock so good. Yeah. 
You don't uh, need to do much to them. Not really. For sound wise, you know. Also interior, be beautiful. Very nice, yeah. I mean, I've never really seen a modded Aston. There are not so many. I think there are not many Aston. people who are spending money on, on these cars, like modify them. Because it, the truth is about Aston Martins is this, if you want sound, if you want comfort, if you want to cruise, it's, it's like a competitor to Bentley. You can get an Aston or a Bentley. If you want as much speed as possible for your money, then you don't buy an Aston, because they're very expensive. Yeah, and there's faster cars which exactly. are cheaper. So why do you buy Aston? I bought an Aston because, <laughs> you know, like, Bentley, I, I feel like I need to be older for Bentley. You know, Bentley's kind of old. Yeah. And I kind of feel like in this car, I could, for the in it, I could drive to Oslo, I can make noise the whole way. You show up, and, and even though it's not the fastest, you still get a degree of, there's a degree of flex that comes with the Aston Martin. I turn up in the Aston Martin. Yeah, it's true. It's a beautiful car. It's a beautiful car. And it's rare. I mean, there are not, not so many here. This and I, did, I didn't see many in general. No, like, they're very rare. I would say let's just take them for a ride. Let's do it. You want to switch? Fuck it, let's switch. Yeah, let's switch. We're going to switch cars. I will drive this beautiful Aston Martin right here. And he's going to take my uh, GTR. I'm curious about his opinion when uh, we arrive at uh, my place. And uh, yeah, let's enjoy. Let's do it. Cool.